folks, we're back doing more chemistry. We just discussed how, we, uh, how light is emitted from an atom, right? How electrons jump to various energy levels and they emit different colors of light based on the energy level, the distance they fall from. Now, that's great. We can see that with our eyes through spectroscopes or spectral glasses, but can we calculate? Can we see exactly the energy produced or exactly the frequency of light produced? And the answer is yes. We just have to use mathematics. So I went ahead and I looked at these and I said this wavelength of red light is actually 650 nanometers. And one of these blue lights uh, wavelength is equal to 400 nanometers, okay? And so I want to figure out two things. Number one, I want to figure out what is the frequency of red light being emitted and what is the energy of the blue light being emitted. I have some equations. These equations are over here. I have my energy equation. Energy equals Planck's constant times frequency. And I have my speed of light equation where C, the speed of light, which is a constant in a vacuum, uh, is equal to the wavelength times the frequency of the wave. Let's tackle the first problem. I've got my calculator. Hopefully you've got yours. The first question is, what is the frequency of this wave? If I have to select an equation, I'm looking for a frequency variable, and I'm looking for something that includes a wavelength variable. So I come over here, I see my speed of light equation has a frequency, and a wavelength variable, I'm going to use that. I'm going to start by writing down my equation. Frequency is, I'm sorry, speed of light is wavelength times frequency, and then I'm going to start plugging in the numbers that I know. First of all, the speed of light is always 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, and then I need to include the wavelength. However, this wavelength is written in nanometers, and my speed of light is in meters per second. So I need to convert my wavelength from nanometers over into meters. Well, that's okay, because there's a nice, easy conversion I have over here where it's 100 nanometers is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 7th meters. And what that means for us is whatever the wavelength is, I can go ahead and pop that in 650 times 10 to the negative 7th. That is my meters measurement. That's my conversion. I go ahead and take whatever the nanometers are and I pop it in front of a times 10 to the negative 7th and that converts it over into meters for me. Okay? And the rest of my equation is just frequency. If I can now evaluate this algebraically, I can solve for whatever frequency is. So I'll do that. 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second divided by 650 times 10 to the negative 7th meters. That is going to tell me the frequency of this wave. You better have your calculators out. Here we go. I'm typing in parenthesis 3 times 10 to the 8th. If I can find it, 3 times 10 to the 8th. Close that parenthesis. I've typed this in. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide it by parenthesis again so I can put the next number in there, 650, not 680, I typed that in wrong, 650 times 10 times 10 to the negative 7th, close that parenthesis. Here's what I have, 650 times 10 to the negative 7th. I hit enter, My syntax error. It says syntax error. Why is it doing that to me? Ah, because I didn't drop that down, did I? There we go. See, even I can screw this thing up. There we go. I end up with my answer as 4.6 times 10 to the 12. 4.6 times 10 to the 12th hertz. Hertz is the measurement for frequency. This is the frequency of red light. If you don't get that, check your calculator. Make sure you popped it out or put it in correctly so you get that answer to pop out. Another type of question is, what is the energy associated with that blue light? If I'm thinking about the energy, I'm looking for an equation that has energy in it and has wavelength. But I don't have that equation. I've got speed of light, which is wavelength and frequency. And I've got energy, which is Planck's constant and frequency. So I don't have that equation. But I can use this first equation to find frequency and then go ahead and use the second equation to go find energy. This is kind of a two-step problem. So let's go from the beginning. C is equal to wavelength times frequency. Let's start plugging some numbers in. 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second is equal to 400 times 10, negative 7, times frequency. 
I'll divide again like I did before. 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by 400 times 10 to the negative 7 uh, meters. That's going to give me my frequency. My frequency comes out as sneak trick here, right, folks? I'm just going to go up my calculator to the previous problem and change that wavelength from 650 to 400. So I'm not typing this number in again. I'm just using my tools and my calculator to make it quicker for me. When I do that, I get a much higher frequency, which is good. Blue light is higher frequency. And that frequency ends up being 7.5 times 10 to the 12 hertz. Is that my answer? No, that's my frequency. And now that I have this, I can use my energy equation over here to go ahead and solve the remainder of this problem. Energy is equal to Planck's constant, which is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds times the frequency 7.5 times 10 to the 12th hertz. There's my problem. There's no algebra required here. I can just go ahead and solve this straight out. Let's do it. Parentheses 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34th. Drop it down. Make sure I get my parentheses. There's Planck's constant right there. 6.63 times, multiplying this time, parentheses 7.5 times 10 to the 12th. Drop that thing down, hit enter. This should be a really tiny number because it's one wave. It's one wavelength, one frequency of a wave. 4.97 times 10 to the negative 21. Energy equals 4.97 times 10 negative 21. And that unit is joules or J. I now know the energy associated with it. How does that help and how does that connect back to the atomic model? This energy level here tells me exactly how this electron moved. What was the energy level difference associated with this transition? That helps me identify what the atom is made out of, the size, the shape, and the makeup of these electron orbitals where these things live. Okay? You've got your models. You've got your math. If you've got questions, drop in the comments. Send me an email. Ask me in class if you have to. Until next time. See ya!